YouTube family. How is everybody today? This is my third video that I am recording right now in the same shirt, same hair, same makeup. So please bear with me, but I wanted to make sure that I told, talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on with The Ordinary right now, The Ordinary Skincare Company. Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking the red button below. Love to have you here as a part of our family that is growing so quickly. Um, thank you all that are my faithful su subscribers for being here with me. Everybody, don't forget to hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That will keep you from... Well, it might keep you from not getting unsubscribed. I know that a lot of people have been unsubscribed and so I would hate for any of you that really want to not miss out on the videos to miss out because you're getting unsubscribed. And that kind of helps deter that problem with YouTube. I wish they'd get their crap together and figure things out. But anyway, okay. So what I wanted to talk to you about is, you guys, um, The Ordinary came out with some new products, and I just got these in the mail not too long ago. They're still in their boxes, but they came out with antioxidants. Um, this one is the resveratrol, uh, whatever, and froilic, ferulic acid, excuse me. Um, and then there is one called EUK High Potency Antioxidant Formula. Both of these are called high potency anti antioxidant formulas and these are really exciting for me because it's the free radicals in the air or, or in our you know environment that can really damage our skin and so I'm excited to begin to work this into my skincare regimen um, I am I would really recommend to you that you get on their website or you read their articles on when to use these and when not to. Um, because they can, it, using them in conjunction with certain things like niacinamide or vitamin C, they can be um, kind of counterintuitive or it can kind of cancel them out. So um, everybody should be using these. I don't care whether you're the youngest of the young or whether you're um, you know, way up there into your 100 plus years. Um, you should be using some sort of an antioxidant to fight the free radicals because that's what ages us. So I'm excited to begin to use these. I will definitely keep you updated on them. One of the things that I do know that you were all asking me about is how is the new um, a vitamin C suspension 30% compared to the 23%. Now the reason that everybody didn't like the 23% is because it had way too much of a grit in it. And I'm with you. I didn't like that very much either. But I put up with it because I know that it's so very important to have vitamin C in your skincare line because you it's so brightening and it does so much for your skin. And so when they came out with the 30% I was really excited to try it and I have been liking it very much at night you guys. Um, it is a really much smoother product. It is suspended in silicone. So it does go on quite a, a quite a bit smoother. Um, I do put this one on after I have put on my creams. And the reason is, is because of that silicone. What silicone does is create a barrier between your skin and the outside so that, um, you know, you put the silicone primers on so that your moisturizer will stay locked in and then you can put your foundation on top of that so that it doesn't carry away your foundation or interfere with that. So I have been using this, I really do like it, and it has been my last step. Very smooth, no grit to it whatsoever, very smooth, and I have been liking it very, very much. The other thing that you can do, if you don't like that heavy of product, if you already have like, oily feeling skin and you don't like that heavy of a product on your skin is I actually um, ordered this Orbital glucoside. I hope I'm not absolutely murdering that. But this is also a vitamin C serum and it is I think 12% this one is, yes. And it is very liquidy. And so I actually mix this one in with my other serums that I put on during the day and um, use those and then I use it in day and night depending on you know what I'm feeling like. But I like to use the little bit higher strength at night um, as I'm using the vitamin C just because I like to have as much of that strong vitamin C on my skin for brightening up dull skin. I did also want to mention that one of the products that I'm 
absolutely loving and I don't know I have read up on this and I don't know I've never heard it before of the ordinary but it's their squalane squalane however you say that um, but this is their oil and it's plant derived oil and this stuff you guys I put this on uh, just a drop of it and I rub it up around my eyes on both eyes and then on my lips and um, you know on my 11s and you guys in the morning my skin is so soft and so supple so I started putting a few drops in with my regular moisturizers and I love this stuff you guys I'm using it up like crazy it just to me, this is better than the marula oil or the argon oil, and I have yet to try the rosehip oil. I'm excited to try that one because that one does have anti-aging properties in it. But I like this one the best so far of the other ones that I've tried. So give this one a try if you haven't thought of trying this yet. I just really love how soft and supple my skin is in the morning after using this. And you know, sometimes when you put an oil on or you put a moisturizer on by the morning, your face still feels dry not with this stuff it's just really really good so I'm excited about that and I did for the first time get some niacinamide I was on the fence about niacinamide because I felt like it was more for acne treatments and that kind of thing but as I was watching do you guys ever watch Nadine I think her name's Nadine Babcock I'm not sure I'll have to link her channel she has she is um, from the UK she has this beautiful accent she's a mature woman and she is has been a researcher for a long time of different skincare and different things like that she actually interviewed Paula from Paula's Choice skincare um, and they they had a really great talk about some of the skincare and um, I just really like watching her because she is a wealth of information so I think you guys will like watching her too if you like um, learning about skin care and the ins and outs of it but um, they were talking about niacinamide and how important she was talking about niacinamide and how important it is and especially for clearing out our pores and clearing out the sebum which is the congestion that our pores get in them and then our pores look diminished our pores are our pores they're not going to get smaller they're not going to get bigger but you can definitely clean them out so that they look diminished and um, so that they look smoother and so I really am a excited to continue to try this I'm happy with the results so far on using the niacinamide and as a matter of fact just so you know yes you can use niacinamide with vitamin C and your um, retin-a products or your retinols all together those are completely work together in conjunction with each other so don't be afraid to mix all of those at one sitting of your skincare and that is everything I can't believe it I got through a video in under 10 minutes so you guys uh, please give this a thumbs up I don't know if you guys enjoy me giving you just quick synapses of skincare and you know what I'm liking right now and what I'm getting and trying um, and especially about the ordinary I am an ordinary color pop makeup geek junkie so you guys know <laughs> I love you guys so very much please give it a thumbs up I will see you in my next video and hopefully I'll be back very very soon and take care bye you guys